Good day, viewers, and welcome to your best learning hub for the sciences, Jalo Science Academy. I am Mohamed Yero Jalo. Of course, in this midweek edition, I'll be taking you through a question that was posed to us by one of our viewers in general mathematics, and the question was on bearing. He asked us to help him solve this question. So I'm going to take you through the question. Okay, this is the question which was sent to us. It says, an aeroplane X, whose average speed is 500 kilometers per hour, leaves Lunge Airport at 7 a.m. and travels for two hours on a bearing of 0 0.50 degrees. It then changes its course and flies on a bearing 120 degrees to an airfield A. Another aeroplane, Y, leaves Lunge Airport at 10 a.m. and flies on a straight course to the airfield A. Both planes arrive at the airfield A at 11.30 a.m. Calculate A, the average speed of Y, correct to three significant figures. B, the direction of flight Y, correct to the nearest degree. So this is the question. Now I take you through the solutions. We have aeroplane X and aeroplane Y. Now let's collect our data from the question. The average speed of aeroplane X is 500 kilometers per hour and then it left 7 a.m. That's time left. Time left. That's 7 a.m. And traveled for two hours. So that is time spent on the journey. Two hours. On a bearing of 0 0.50 degrees. It then changes its course and flies on a bearing of 120 degrees to an airfield A. Another aeroplane Y leaves Lunge Airport at 10 a.m. and flies on a straight course to the airfield A. Both planes arrived at the airfield A at 11 a.m. So time arrived. Time arrived is 11.30 a.m. So meaning this here we can calculate the distance it covered, okay? So with this, let's get a sketch of it. As beginners, whenever you're faced with bearing questions, it is nice that you do a rough sketch so that you see a clearer picture of what the diagram is gonna look like before you get your neat sketch. But I'm gonna skip that for this video. So let's say this point is Lunge Airport here. We always give reference to our North Pole. Aeroplane X left here and flew on a bearing of 0 0.50 degrees. Let's say it gets to that point. And then from this point, it then changes course. It flew on a bearing of 120 degrees. 90 plus 30 gives us 120. Flew here. Let's say it gets to this point. Now with this that we have, this bearing here is 120 degrees. This bearing is 50 degrees. So we know the bearings. We can calculate the distance covered here because we know the speed and we know the time spent from Lunge 
airport here and this is the cost of aeroplane x okay that is the cost which aeroplane x is using so we can calculate the distance because we know distance is equal to speed multiplied by the time so the speed is 500 and the time it's spent is two hours so the distance here will give us 1000 kilometers so meaning aeroplane x covered 1000 kilometers that's for aeroplane x and then when it changes course this is the part that it used the total flight time the total flight because it left at 7 30 and arrived at it left at 7 a.m rather and arrived at 11 30 meaning total flight time is four and a half hours so if it is spending two hours here and it is moving with an average speed meaning this other distance it is going to spend two and a half hours and that distance is going to be much longer than the other distance so that's the reason i made this a bit longer than this okay and then we come to aeroplane y which left at 10 a.m time left is 10 a.m and time arrived is 11 30 a.m so time spent so meaning it spent one and a half hours and it's one and a half hours that it spent on the way so it flew from this point directly to the airfield that's the distance flew directly to the airfield there so this is the question this is how it looks like now we are asked to calculate the average speed of y mind you this is a track of y the average speed of y for us to calculate the average speed of y we first of all need to know more things about this now it is only this side that is known which is the distance covered but we can calculate this and we can also get this angle here this angle and this angle are alternate because you have these two lines being parallel so this and this are alternate angles so they are equal this is 50 degrees this will also be 50 degrees this is a straight line sum of angles on a straight line gives us 180 so if we have 120 here meaning the remaining is 60 degrees so this will give us 110 degrees this is what we have as the angle there so we can find this distance because we are told aeroplane x was moving with an average speed so now we say distance of x from a distance of x from turning point to a because this is the airfield a that it has all right so the distance there distance we know is speed multiplied by time the speed with which it is moving is 500 and the time it spent is two and a half hours so two and half hours gives us five over two so this will give us 250 multiplied by five so the distance if you five by 25 gives us 125 so the distance covered is 1250 kilometers so here is 1250 kilometers so now looking at this question we have two sides and an included angle so meaning we can find this distance by applying the cosine formula so i'm going to erase this question you can pause the video you take a screenshot you jot it down so now for us to apply cosine rule this point is a so we can refer to this here as b and we call here c so we say from triangle abc from triangle abc we apply cosine rule so applying cosine rule in this case here this side becomes lowercase letter b here lowercase letter a here lowercase letter c so cosine rule can be stated there as b squared is equal to a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cosine of the angle b so 
a squared, we have it to be 1,000 squared. C squared, we have it to be 1,250 squared. Minus 2 multiplied by 1,000 multiplied by 1,250 multiplied by cosine 110 degrees. 1,000 squared will give us 1 million. So I'll write this as 10 to the power 6 plus 1,250 squared. That will give us 1 million 500 and 62,500. 1,562,500. Minus 2 multiplied by 1,000 multiplied by 1,250. There's 2,000 multiplied by 1,250. That gives us 25, 2,500,000. So I'll write 25 by 10 to the power 5 multiplied by cosine 110. Cosine of 110 is going to be negative because in the second quadrant, so we have it to be negative 0 0.3420. So now, 1 million plus 1 million 562,500, that will give us 2 million 562,500. Minus, minus, minus times this minus here gives us plus. 0 0.3420 multiplied by 2,500,000. That will give us 855,000. And if we add it to this, 855,000 plus 2,562,500, that will give us 3,417,500. So this is B squared. So B will be equal to the square root of 3,417,500. Taking square root of that, we get 1,848.6. So B will be equal to 1,848.6. So meaning this distance is 1,848.6 kilometers. Okay. So with this now, we can calculate the average speed of y. So the average speed of y, a speed we know is distance divided by time. I knew the speed there, the distance there rather is 1848.6 divided by the time it spent. It left at 10 a.m. and arrived at 11.30, that is one and a half hours, which is 1.5 so if we divide this figure here 1848.6 divided by 1.5 will give us 100 1232.4 1232.4 that is the average speed but well, the question say we leave our answer so three significant figures, three significant figures. Now, after the decimal point, be, before the decimal point, rather, we have one, two, three, four. So this implies, so therefore, the average speed is going to be equal to 1,230 kilometers per hour because you have one two three di digits and this here this number is two it is not up to five so we cannot round it up so rounding this up to the nearest 10 becomes 30 instead of 32 becomes 30 so it's 1230 kilometers per hour as this is the a part of the question a part of the question and now b says we calculate the direction of flight y correct to three significant figures the direction of flight y meaning from Lunge Airport, here we turn, and this is 50 degrees, so until we say this. So we need to get this remaining angle. So B, direction of flight Y. Direction of flight Y. This angle we don't know, let's refer to it as theta. So that is going to be 
50 degrees plus theta. Okay, so 50 degrees plus theta will give us the direction of light y. But we don't know this angle, but we now know all the three sides and we know one angle. So we can apply the sine rule to calculate the missing angle. So you can pause the video, you take a screenshot. So I'll be erasing the other end. So from triangle ABC, we apply sine rule. And looking at this, it is this that we want. We know this angle, we know the side. So we can use only B and C. So we can say here, sine of the angle B upon B is equal to sine of the angle C upon C. So sine of the angle B is sine 110, sine 110 degrees over B, we have it to be 1848.6 is equal to sine C, we don't know. So we can say sine theta over the side that is 1250 so we can cross multiply here this will give us 1848.6 sine theta is equal to 1250 sine 110 so what we do we can divide here by 1848.6 here by 1848.6. So this and this will cancel. We are we now have theta is equal to sine inverse. We multiply this 1250 sine 110 will give us 1174. That if we divide it by when we divide say 1250 sine 110 that will give us 1176.615 divided by 1848.6 and that will give us 0 0.6354 0 0.6354 and if we take inverse of the sine of this and we get 39.45. So this will be equal to 39.45 degrees. So theta here to the nearest whole number will be 39 degrees. So meaning the final answer, the direction is now going to be 50 plus 39 degrees. And 50 plus 39, you work this one out, you get 89 degrees. So the direction of flight Y or aeroplane Y is 89 degrees. Thank you very much for watching our video. You can like our video, subscribe to our channel if you are new, hit the notification bell to be notified each time we release a new video. Of course, there is a Facebook page, Jalo Science Academy. You can follow us on Facebook. There's also a Telegram channel Jalo Science Academy, you can join the channel where you can drop your questions and we'll help you solve them. And don't forget, never stop learning because those that have stopped learning have stopped living. Thank you.